first of all, just showed you that video from the, the elementary school. How does that make you feel? Man, it's, it's just an unreal feeling, man, just to get to see all the people in my hometown, just the way they feel about me and just how they're doing this process. You know, it's just as crazy for me as it is for them. Me and my family, you know, we're just we're on cloud nine right now, you know. We're just ready to, I'm ready to hear my name called, you know, because it's just been a long road, you know, those five years of TC was a long, tough road, but, you know, it made me into a tough guy that's ready for any obstacle. I dealt with a lot of things in my five years there. It's just, man, it's just unreal and it's crazy, but I'm ready for it. LJ, I mean, even six months ago, you weren't projected to be a low first round, high second round type draft pick. I mean, you were probably considered a fourth, fifth, sixth round draft pick. What, what have you, what, what's happened over the last six months that's, that's changed that? Uh, well, I got invited to the Senior Bowl, and you know, I knew there was gonna be every coach every D-line coach, every GM, every personnel in the NFL there. So that was my opportunity to show what I could do, you know what I'm saying, what type of player I am and that I can play with the best. And I've always been able to play with the best, you know, and that's just what, and just show my stuff and my craft and show that what we do at TCU and what me as a person can do, you know, what I've learned there and that I'm just as good as anybody in this country, whether you went to Michigan, Alabama, or anywhere like that. I mean, I come from the middle of nowhere, but we play football with the best. And I've always thought that, you know, I've never thought myself less than anybody, no matter what anybody told me. I've always believed in myself, like, and that's what got me through it. I had a lot of support, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to believe you can do it. And I've always believed I could do this. You know, no matter what anybody told me, oh, well, you from Monday. Nobody from Monday's ever done it. Okay, I'll be the first. And that's how I carry myself. You know, it was instilled in me by my dad. You know, I had coaches in high school tell me that I always could, could be able to do it, do this. You know, a lot of people were asking me what I was going to do afterwards, you know, like, doubt me, like, I never had a chance, you know? This is last summer, so like, oh, well, you got one more season, what you can do afterwards? I said, I want to play professionally. And they're like, eh, I don't really know. I knew, because I watched guys before me go and do it. And I watched guys across the country that I knew weren't as good as me. I just had to believe in myself and go do that. When I was shooting your high school games, you'd make a great play. You'd come over on the sidelines and you'd have fun. And you're smiling. And, I mean, you're just a happy guy. I mean, you, you seem so pleasant off the field, but you seem so mean on the field. How do you, do you just flip a switch? Oh, you got to be mean on the field. Football's not a nice game, so you got to be dirty on the field and a nice guy off the field. You got to leave the on the field stuff on the field and be a nice guy off the field, you know. That's just how I like to keep it. And, you know, on the field, you know, it's a war zone. That's the mindset I like to bring to it, you know. Hit anybody that ain't wearing the same color as me. Um, you know, a couple of days ago was the anniversary of my mother's death. Um, when it comes down to it and your, your name is drafted, would the first person that you want to big, give a big hug to, would that be your mom? Of course. Because my mom, last time she seen me play was my spring game my freshman year, and it wasn't the best game. You know, I was too worried about what was going on afterwards, you know, not focusing on that. And, you know, I didn't know that was going to be the last time she got to see me play. And she passed away a little bit after that, you know, it crushed me. So I, I told myself, and that next season was tough, just dealing with her death and going through everything. So I told myself that next year, after that, that next spring, never again. I was going to be a different person, a different player throughout all of it, you know? And so, so as you do this, as, as, as you work out, I mean, is this more than just for you? Is this for your family as well? I mean, it's for my family, but, you know, it's mainly for me. And then for my mom, I know uh, she loved to see who the, the guy I am today. You know, I was still growing up when she was alive, and she loved to see. You know, she'd be very proud of me and the guy I am today. Um, you, you've made a lot of visits. Have there been some teams that, uh, that you, you've like the visits with them more than others? Or? I mean, all of them were fun, you know, and, you know, it was interesting getting to talk to all the NFL head coaches and GMs. Of, you know, you see all throughout your, you know, as you're a kid, you know, come from Monday playing Madden, things like that. And, you know, I liked Seattle. I liked uh, Philadelphia. You know, I liked L.A. I liked all of them, you know, Minnesota, you know. But if I got the chance to go play for any of those teams, I'd be grateful. And, you know, whoever calls my name, you know, it doesn't matter where I go. I know when I get there what I'm going to do and how I'm going to work about myself.